Good morning, boys and girls. This morning we're going to take a little break from our regular classroom work and we're discussing PSSA strategies. Uh, tomorrow's our big day for us. Tomorrow's our first day of the PSSA testing. Our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders will receive testing in reading and math tomorrow. And it's going to be very important over the next 45 minutes that everybody pays attention to what I have to explain to you concerning the strategies. The results of your test are very important to the Steel Valley family. When I'm referring to the family, I'm referring to the teachers, the parents, yourselves, and also the community members. Your scores will be, uh, excuse me, Ryan and Michael. We're not going to have those kind of behaviors. He did Can I see you out the hallway, please? No, it was him. He did it first. He did it first. Can I see you out the hallway, please? Okay, strategy number two, we're going to learn about what we can do the night before an exam of how we can uh, prepare ourselves mentally and physically. The night before, it's going to be very important to get your clothes ready, wear some, something that's very comfortable, so when you're testing throughout the day, you won't have any problems with the clothing. Uh, make sure you pick those out in the evening. Excuse me, Sarah. Sarah, can I talk to you for a second? That was her. We are testing now, and I want to speak to you about you know the rules of the test. Can I see you over here, please? That's her. Seriously? That's so stupid. He's trying to cheese He looks like my grandpa. Excuse me, Kelly. Can I see you also out here, please? I didn't say anything, though. Yes, she did. Can I see you, please? No, she didn't. Always get in trouble for everything. I didn't even do anything. Please, come on. The morning of the test is very important. That refers to strategy number three. It's going to be very important to make sure you set those alarm clocks and it's going to be important that you wake up on time. After you wake up on time, we know you have your clothes ready. Mr. Walsh, you can help. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's coming up here. Can I see you up here, please? You're a little loud. Can you just this? Can I talk to you? My mom said you can't stop me, so I'm gonna go stop you. Please, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. And it uh, does help to pay. Uh, pays a little bit to do a little exercise in the morning. And we may do a little exercise before our testing. Once you get to your. Can I help you? Can I get a drink? Not this time. We're testing, please. Be quiet. We'll finish you up. You'll get some time afterwards. We'll take a little break. It's going to be important that you get mentally prepared for your test. Make sure you are physically prepared also as you come into school. Start thinking about that exam. Start thinking about how you play. Can you turn the air on? The air is on this time. I'm sorry, you're hot. I'll open the window. Maybe that'll cool things off a little bit. Pull, pull something off. You can refocus. And uh, please keep in mind that your teacher has provided some, uh, some very crucial tips that can be helpful throughout this exam, and you can also use those tips throughout today and uh, the rest of the week. We're still testing at this time. It's going to be important that everybody stays on test. If you happen to throw another okay. airplane during our testing, you might end up in the office visiting Mr. Cora. Hey. Mr. Hey. Mr. Tom, please put your things away. <laughs> Strategy 5 has to deal with reading section tips. And uh, as you're reading, please read your passage carefully. They take your time so you clearly understand it. You can take notes throughout. You can highlight some key passages. You have to read all this. You have to read the whole thing. Excuse me, Rebecca. Too long. Please it's take your time. Read carefully. You'll be fine. Please don't be disruptive to the other students that are close by. Stupid. Let's try it. I think I need to call my mom. I think my water just broke. Oh, boy. You know what? The test will be over in about two hours. We'll give her a ring. You'll be fine. Please try to hang on. We'll call the nurse when the bell rings. How's that? Oh, oh excuse me. Isn't there anybody in this school building who's going to take this test seriously?
Division, hey, addition, John, right. subtraction, John, okay. and multiplication. John, hey, we know hey, it's hey, hard John, when you first hey, start, John, but everyone knows hey, you're really smart, okay. so do your math. Hey. Grab your number two pencil and do your math. Never mind what haters say, you know your math anyway. And when you take the PSSA, you gotta know what to say. Study hard and do your part. Get your brain really smart. Math will flow once you start. Algebra problem's my favorite part. Read each question carefully, the answer choice will slowly. Eliminate answers steadily, fill in answers completely. I'll never be a hater, cause I'll always be advanced. When I get my score that day, everyone will know I did and play. Answers black and white, it has area and shades of gray. I know the B's from the A's and will succeed anyway. So might give up along the way, daydream cause they're afraid. Work out problems every day and you'll be advanced in the PSSA. I don't need to pray cause Olsen taught me every day. So he taught me not to play, hot bar made me write each day. Can't be thugging all my life, looking at a sliver, take a break. Kendra don't want to spoil the rest, I have to do my best on the test. Before you go and take that test, make sure you eat a good breakfast the night before. Just get some rest, that way you can do your very best and do your math. Grab your number two pencil and do your math. Show your work on paper.